Welcome to Document Video Tutorials. The topic of this episode is installing Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Express Edition and configuring it for work with Emanuel Software Document. Once you install the document, you get out of the box ready to use product that is able to store your documents and requires literally no configuration. Many users actually don't want to care about the storage and technical aspects of the application, it should simply work. This is why the document installation itself is one of those next, next, next installations. The local storage that is built in the document is tested against several thousands of the average documents and turned out to perform very well for most of the needs. However, if you have need for full text search and a more powerful backend, you will have to install Microsoft SQL Server 2005 or higher. We have tested SQL Server storage for the document against database, uh, databases larger than 100 gigabytes. If you don't already have Microsoft SQL Server license, good news is that the Express Edition of this product is free of charge. It comes in four packages, database only, management tools, database with management tools and database with advanced services. The later database advanced services is package that we need since it contains support for full text search. Download link is shown on the screen and you can find it also in the document documentation. Installation of the SQL Server 2000 Express is not very complex, however it requires certain settings and this is what this video tutorial is all about. Now, before we go on with the hands-on, let me point out a few important notes about SQL Server's full text search. When you install SQL Server, it supports, it supports basic file types like text or HTML documents. What is very likely is that you are going to store other popular document types in your document that you would uh, also like to perform full text search against. Therefore, you will need to install so-called iFilters. To simplify it, we can say that iFilter is a grammar for a particular document type. It makes full text search understand the document and index it properly so that we can search its, con uh, its contents. Cool thing about the iFilters is that they exist for virtually all searchable documents you can think of. We will list here just the common ones. CHM for example with the link provided to download, PDF and Microsoft Office documents. Or Microsoft Office uh, eye filters for the for its documents. Okay, so let's see how this really work. Okay, so once you copy paste the provided link, this is the page that will show uh, that will show up in your in your browser. Now, before we go on further, let me let me tell you something. Um, all this might turn out to be a big hassle for many users. At the end, it really is a big hassle since you will need to install many things. Um, you might need to uh, install some um, uh, prerequisites actually like .NET Framework and so on as you will see um, in a couple of seconds. You will need to install SQL Server itself, you might need to install additional live filters and so on and so on. Uh, but let me assure you something, full text search as experience is really worth all this. Once you get used actually to full text search of your existing documents, uh, you will never want to go back. So I encourage you actually to go further with this. Okay, so um, if you scroll down uh, on this on this page, you will see, as I mentioned uh, a few seconds before, uh, that you might need actually to perform some of these additional downloads and installation based upon your uh, current system uh, configuration. So uh, this might be uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 with Service Pack 1, Windows Installer 4.5, and Windows PowerShell 1.0. If you need any of those, you can simply click on provided uh, links, download it and uh, install it accordingly. Uh, once those uh, requirements are met, you can go further and finally download uh, and install SQL Server Express. Uh, based upon your operating system version, you might opt to go for 64-bit edition of SQL Server or 32-bit edition. since. Our demo machine is running on Windows 6P 32-bit edition. This is actually the package that we are going to download. Now, since 
uh, as you can see actually from the file size uh, this piece is larger than 500 megabytes and based upon your uh, internet speed it might take a while so maybe um, it's good time now to go and drink a cup of coffee okay now once the file is finally downloaded and you ex execute it this is actually the window that will uh, appear on your screen you have to click on the installation link on the left side and then on the new SQL Server standalone installation this is actually uh, this will this is going to um, initialize the setup uh, process and um, if it happens actually that your system doesn't meet uh, the requirements it will uh, list within this grid here all potential problems so instead of, the, of those green checkboxes you will see lots of uh, yellow and the red uh, glyphs indicating actually where the error uh, occurred so since everything is green in our case we'll simply say ok uh, nowadays it's really popular to to be green then we have to install the setup support files and setup support rules identify that we have an issue somewhere here in our case uh, it has some problem with our windows firewall if you click on the warning link here we will see that the windows firewall is enabled and that we that we have to make sure that the appropriate ports are open to enable remote access this is irrelevant in our case here for demo purposes we will simply ignore it and click the, on the next button product key is also irrelevant so this is anyway fuel charge let's assume that we have read Microsoft software license terms and then we have accepted it fine we click on the next button again and now within the feature selection we have to choose what we really want to install since it offers us additional stuff that we don't really need of course database engine services is what we need uh, as well as a full text search we can choose different shared feature directory in our case it's perfectly fine if you leave it in the default one and then we can click on the next button again Within the instance configuration, this is the coming screen, um, we can specify the name under we, uh, which we will recognize this, um, this database server. Please remember this SQL Express since this is what we are going to provide to our document configuration. Uh, we say next again. And then within the disk space requirements, we see the overview of the disk space used after the installation is finished now another important point this is the server configuration here uh, we can specify the account name under which this service is going to be executed um, this account name in our case is going to be the network service account there is no password and uh, another important thing here is this actually uh, this service here that is called SQL full text filter diamond launcher as you can see here, Microsoft suggests that we use uh, the low privilege account um, in order not to corrupt our uh, security on the system. Actually, for this demo in purpose, it is perfectly fine if we choose again uh, the network service. And this is what we are going to do here. We cannot choose it from the list. We have to um, find it on our own. We are going to type in network service here and we are going to check the names it found it fine we will say okay and that's everything that we need on this page we'll click on the magical next button again uh what we're going to do here on this account provisioning we will add current user as sql server administrator um so fine we'll click on the next button again and we will sell, send nothing to microsoft at this moment again as you can see uh, this setup procedure actually uh, text, uh, tests our patience and clicking possibilities because after every, every single step it lists here some overview of the requirements if they are met or they are not okay they are fine now again luckily we'll say next again and finally we can click on the install button now since this is the procedure that will also take a while you might go for your second cup of coffee okay so once the setup pro uh, process completes um, it will give you an, uh, another overview you will click on the next button again and finally close the installation we will close this window as well